Brad Locke, co-chair of the 2018 Alzheimer's Ride, the unforgettable ride for the Alzheimer's Association. I co-chair this with Ted Gillespie, and I'm here today with Tom Baker. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. We want to thank Stephen Thompson of the St. Charles Focus On magazine to begin with for doing all this for us. He's behind the camera out of sight today, but we want to thank him for that. I uh, just wanted to go over the stops and the times for registration and kickoff. Uh, registration is from 10 to noon, kick stands up at noon, then we head out from Big St. Charles Motorsports, we head to Hot Shots in Wentzville, from there we go to the Roadhouse in Defiance, and then from the Roadhouse in Defiance we come back to BMO, and then from BMO we come back here to Shamrocks and we have a good time. We're going to have a live van, and how late are we staying? Uh, we haven't determined that yet, until the beer holds out I guess. There you go. We're going to give away a lot of uh, door prizes, uh, raffle tickets, but it's going to be a raffle ride, so you'll be picking up raffle tickets at each one of those those spots. If you register early, you get $5 off the registration, and you get five free raffle tickets, five extra ones, and uh, you can buy t-shirts on our website, all that good stuff. Remember, we need sponsors, so reach out to Brad, find him on Facebook, message him, do what you got to do, but we could use your help. So Brad, tell us about some of the people who have already gotten involved and who we can thank. Well, it started last year uh, at the Alzheimer's Walk 2017. I, I met uh, Mary Williams there, and she's the, the chairman, uh, the organizer, basically, the, the go-to person at the Alzheimer's Walk. I told her I wanted to do a benefit ride for the Alzheimer's Association, and she put me in contact with someone else who had the same idea, uh, Ted Gillespie. And Ted has been an integral part of this. He's, he's done the website, he's done the Facebook page, he's done all kinds of stuff. And, and there's, from then, it's just mushroomed, and, and you come on in the last month or so. We've, we've got several other people involved. Uh, some, of the pe some of the main players in here, I it's Kyle here at Shamrocks, it's one of the place. Uh, he's, he's let us use this place for our after party and our final destination point. Uh, uh, Dave over at BMO's, he's, he's, he's graciously allowed us to come through his parking lot and pick up and set up raffle tickets there. And, and there's just been a lot of people that have just come together and this started out as a little bitty idea and now it's just grown into this this we were we were expecting 50 bikes at, at first and, and i'd be tickled pink if i'd be doing backflips if we had 100 now it's looking like there's going to be way more than that there's going to be hundreds of people involved in this from start to finish and it's it, it's just grown and i just wanted to thank all these people i really appreciate it i'm sure i've missed somebody but I just wanted to thank everybody for, for what they've done so far, and this is going to be an unforgettable event, that's for sure. All right, so we're actively seeking uh, donations and donors for prizes and raffle. Um, so far we have a few things to raffle off, and uh, we're looking for more small business owners, anybody that's interested. Brad, can you tell us exactly what we're looking for? Well, this is a, this is a motorcycle ride, so we're looking for stuff that motorcyclists would like, pretty much anything. So. What we're looking for is maybe some uh, gift, gift cards, nice gift cards to restaurants, local area restaurants, uh, anything motorcycle related, uh, uh, jackets maybe, something like that. Brad, I don't know a whole lot about Alzheimer's. Can you, what can you tell me about it? I do know well, that it affects over 5 million people in the United States alone, and there's no known cure for Alzheimer's. What else can you tell us about it? Well, that is true. Uh, Alzheimer's associated, the Alzheimer's disease tends to get a, a bit of a rap as an old person's disease and while it does hit a lot of elderly people uh, it affects the families of them of all ages you know to think that you know your mom or dad wouldn't know you uh, or your grand or the grandkids you know my grandma and grandpa wouldn't know the grandkids and things like that it's, it's really tough on the family so people think that you know it's, it's kind of a, a normal progression about uh, getting old but it's really not normal. It's 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 not a, a normal progression. It's it's just it's really toughest on the families and it, you know like other diseases like cancer strikes people of all age groups. Well, this kind of does too because it affects all age groups in the family. The, the person with the Alzheimer's uh, doesn't really know how well how it affects people, but it, it, that is the, 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 the long and short of it. It's really hard on the families. So basically, what type of support does the Alzheimer's Foundation help with? Well, contribute? it helps from A to Z. You know, the Alzheimer's Foundation, it, it, it gives general support to the families and it funds research. We need to find research because there is no cure. Nobody gets out of this alive. You know, if you, if you have some other cancers or things like that, 
they made some great strides in those. But research on this is kind of limited, and we're, we're changing that. We're, we're changing that to the point where we are going to find a cure because no one has survived Alzheimer's to this day, and we are looking for that first survivor. Well, there you go. I know my brother's behind the bars. Come on out, help us support this cause. I know St. Louis is strong in the motorcycle community, so come on out and give us a hand. Thank you.